Ladies and gentlemen, it is with a heavy heart that I bring you this news today that Two Minute Tuesday will not be two minutes. <laughs> it's gonna be like 10, intro. What's up everybody, Peter McKinnon here. Welcome back to yet another Two Minute Tuesday. It's so great to have you here and see all of your smiling faces. If you are new and you are one of the people saying, I don't understand why you don't just change this to Tip Tuesday or any other suggestion, Two Minute Tuesday started with the idea of making videos that were only two minutes long that could be about anything. <sighs> No holds barred, doesn't matter. Any topic, any item, anything, anywhere, any person. That slowly started with two minutes, five minutes, crept along, it has been 20 minutes, been 30 minutes, and I just left the title the same, because I think it's kind of funny. I think it's kind of funny now that we just go over the time more so than we have ever. I mean, I've hit the time like five, in five instances since I've started this channel. But anyways, I digress. That's the story of Two Minute Tuesday summed up quickly. Today we're talking about another camera bag and how I store my gear in this camera bag for daily use, I'm trying something new guys. So let me come out and say this. I have been on the search for the perfect bag since the beginning of time. Since I was born, since I came into this world, I've been trying to find that bag. And to this day, I don't know that I've found it, but I've come close and I've narrowed it down and I know the things that I'm looking for. So this here, this is not sponsored by the way. I actually don't even really like Low Pro that much, but this bag, it's not bad. It's not bad. I was using the ProTactic 450, but right now I've switched over to the Whistler 450 version two, I believe it is. Look at this thing. This thing is huge. It's not really my color scheme, which is just everything black, but I don't mind it. I don't mind it because it's got functionality that actually makes my life better. To make that make sense, oh, there's so much. Look at that camera shape. That's not even in post. There's so many things that I look for in a bag, and I think to make this make sense, I should talk about the things I don't like about the ProTactic. It's a sweet bag, it looks awesome, it's inconspicuous, it's tactical, it checks all the boxes when it comes to like visual, and I like that. What I don't like is there's nowhere for my stuff to go. There's like, if I wanna carry some Gatorade and a couple extra pairs of gloves and a face mask and throw in my sunglasses and keys, like where do you where do you put that stuff? The dome lid just doesn't fit anything, you can try to jam everything in that one zip, it just, uh, there's, no, there's no space. And that's where this bag shines. You see, number one, it stands on its own which is amazing because the ProTactic doesn't stand on its own because the bottom is like beveled. So when you stand it up, it just, like you always have to lean that bag. Not a fan of that. I just wanna take it off my back, set it down on the table, Bob's your uncle, have a great life. Now if you can see up here, this big, this big pouch spot here, let me get this on camera so you can see. See that? That just holds stuff. That is literally just a pocket for things, not even camera related if you don't want. So I've got sunglasses, I have a face mask, extra gloves, EDC pouch, hand warmers, because it was negative 40 the other day. What is happening? And then there's a zippered pouch up here where they have the rain cover, but you can put whatever you want. Carabiners, keys, wallet, accessories, stuff that you don't want to fall out of this if it is open. That pocket right there in a camera bag for me essential because I never have a spot for those. Another pocket, essential in a camera bag. What if I want an extra sweater? What if we're going hiking for a little while? We're headed out for the whole day and I wanna bring a couple extra pairs of, uh, of clothing, of socks, of underwear, long underwear, maybe, uh, maybe a sweater and uh, a Gore-Tex outer shell, whatever. Again, in a pro tactic in most camera bags, you've only got room for the gear. You don't have room for all this garbage. So, check this out. You got this entire front spot of the bag that you can just jam extra clothes into, which is amazing. You can put a reflector in here. You can put your your selfie 360 cam stick. You can put your switch pod. You can put, you can put a whole ton of stuff in here and an extra hoodie, zip that up. And now you've got, like you literally have everything you need for a shoot. And that was always my biggest problem. I didn't want to have to leave stuff in my truck and then go back to my truck and grab it or give it to someone else who I was shooting with so they could bring it with them. This bag, this Whistler bag carries all of these things. Now inside this front pocket, you'll notice this like heavy nylon black material. It's almost like scratch resistant. It's really, really durable. And they advertise this spot to be used for if you are like a hiker and you want to like throw a bunch of paracord in here or climbing rope or crampons so that you can, you know, mount those to your boots and 
and hike up a glacier and the spikes aren't gonna actually penetrate through anything that matters inside this bag. So that's kind of like the utilitarian purpose of this spot. That's what they've designed this for. It's, it's kind of like more of an outdoors adventure backpack more than like a street urban tactical backpack. So it's kind of at the same time, not fair to compare the two bags, but you guys have seen me using the Pro Tactic for like two years now. So I, I, it's kind of all I have to compare it to. So right now I just throw my, my random stuff in here in a sweater, zip that up and you've also got these straps on the front so you can strap anything to it. Tripods, gimbals, any type of accessories. And then it's clamped shut with these looks like anodized steel and those just kind of loop through right there and keep everything nice and secure on both sides of the bag which is amazing heavy duty tripods right here goes through the top this part goes through the bottom you get a big heavy nylon strap down here that both feet of the tripod can go through and then this goes around it it is not moving and you've got that on both sides so literally no matter what you're doing if you're hiking to a specific spot where you know you're gonna set up you know for a shoot that whole day you need to bring a light stand or a monopod and a tripod and you know whatever gimbals all that crap that we just sometimes have to bring with us and you're thinking to yourself, where am I gonna, how is this, this isn't gonna work. Why am I? Here's one thing that's kind of weird. These waist straps, you can't remove them. I don't know that I like that because like when you have this on, look at this. Ugh. When you have this on, like they're just, they're just hanging out. So it's, it's just kind of like, I mean, they're super comfortable and it's nice with all the, the extra support here when you've got it zipped up and it's looking great. You've got a little little pouch pocket here for, I don't know, coins or trading cards. I don't know, something. But I don't like that you can't take it off. So that's kind of a, that's kind of an ass chapper for me there. When you go to open the bag, you can just like turn the straps this way. And then you have full access once these stupid flaps are out of the way. That's the thing though. The zippers have to go around them and you have to reflap this side and then zip. Then you can open. This is how I have my bag packed for every day. Like every day I come to the office, every day I go downtown, every day, everywhere, this is what it looks like inside. That's, that's what Peter McKinnon is rocking on the daily. Note right off the start, look how deep that Pro 1DX body sits inside this camera bag. Like it is deep in there. It's not protruding out of the top. You're not gonna like shut the lid and it's gonna be like hard to zip over it because it's higher than most normal bodies. It's nestled deep inside and I love it for that reason. <clears throat> Main compartment inside 1DX with 7200 installed, fitted to the body. That's a big payload right there. So just looking at how deep, look at that. Wow. Literally, you could climb down in there and just look around and come back out and plenty of space for it. 1DX 7200 fits in there nicely. Now this bag's also equipped with these little, I'll pull it out so you can see it. Oh. See these little divider pouches have little, they have like little pockets inside them. So you, all those little bits and stupid cables and things you always lose, you can now store those inside the dividers, which is, very, very clever, that's awesome, I love that. And then the rest of this bag just kinda continues on like the what's in my camera bag, but just so you can see it, like you got your hard drive space, this hard drive sits perfectly on top of where I keep that big pouch. I only have room for one of these pouches inside, whereas the Pro Tactic bag, I was actually able to carry two of them. In figuring that out, I learned very quickly that I don't really need two of these, I can pretty much condense everything that I want into one, so I've done that, and now it's uh, it's a lot more efficient. I put the tape and my chargers and extra batteries and USR batteries and LPE6 and GoPro stuff, 360 cam, all that stuff goes in here. So that's actually made my life a little bit easier because I don't have to like, which one, which pouch is the pouch that I need? And you always grab the wrong one. Again, like memory cards in the side, 360 cam here. Everything, what I love about this though is everything is so deep, like nothing sticks out. When this shuts, it's flush every time, no matter what you have in here, which is so great. Got your EOS R, I've got four 1DX batteries, I've got this new Aperture waterproof light that will blow your mind. It's actually, in this light is amazing. If you guys have any interest in the best portable light ever that you could possibly own as a photographer or cinematographer and you wanna know more about it, let me know below. Maybe I'll make a two minute Tuesday, that's 10 minutes and I'll I'll enlighten you. And then again, there's a little slot in the back here and that's where my filters just slide in beautifully and that's uh, that's that filter pouch there. So again, not to go into the, all the gear that I use, but this, essentially, that's the Whistler bag. That's the Whistler 450 version two 
and it fits everything I need, plus clothing and accessories and just everyday stuff. And it's a little bit closer to that perfect bag. Do I like everything about it? No, there's still things I don't like about it. I'm not a big fan of orange. I feel a little bit like it's a Home Depot bag. When I think of orange, I think of Home Depot. Waterproof material on the outside, plus that rain cover means like if, if it's freezing rain, if it's raining, if it's snowing, and all that water, you know, is, is getting your bag drenched you should be fine. There should be no worries there. So that's a not so quick look at the uh, Lowepro Whistler 450AW2, I believe. And if that's something you're interested in, I'll link it below, you can check it out. I just figured I wanted to share this journey with you. I've got a bag problem. I have like four think tank rollers. I've got shoulder bags, hip bags, side bags, media pouches in the front, straight up the rock fanny pack camera bags. I have two pro tactics. I've got this thing. I've got peak design bags. I've got, there's like, I literally, I'm telling you, I think it's borderline and obsession, also the search that may never, may never be solved. But I know that I'm not the only one out there and you guys are probably looking for the best solution. This also comes in a smaller size, the 350. So if this is like, dude, are you leaving home forever with that camera bag and you need something smaller, uh, they have that option too. But figured you guys might find that interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you liked it, smash it, do what you gotta do, punch it directly in the face, subscribe if you aren't already, and, and don't forget to vote for me. I, I was nominated for a Shorty Award, which is amazing for a breakout YouTuber of the year, which pff, blows my mind. Links are below, you can vote for me every day. I would love it if you did, and I appreciate your support. Regardless, thank you so much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, take it easy, and uh, blessings. Gotta go. And to this day, this could be a good thumbnail. They're just hanging out. <laughs> You need to airdrop this stuff in. Literally, just airdrop it. Like Lost, you remember Lost? When like the plane would drop those crates and they would see them coming down? Oh, what a great show. Oh man. And that last shot, spoiler alert, that last shot when the camera's panning up and he just looks, starts right, it ends just as it started and it's this eyeball and the dog comes and sits down and he sees the plane through the clearing. Oh. Okay, moving on. Spoiler, if you haven't seen that show, well now you don't need to, but it's, oh, it's good. Why am I wearing a hoodie every day? Should I take this off? I feel like I look funny now. <laughs> I'm putting this back on. It just ruins it. It's for continuity purposes, I am going to sweat through the rest of this video. <laughs> Blessings. Blessed be. What's that thing from The Handmaid's Tale? Bless, blessed be, or peace be, that's what it is. Have you watched The Handmaid's Tale? Yo, that show is whack. <laughs>